Fruit is a naturally sweet treat, but fruit contains carbohydrates. If you are on a low carb or keto diet, too much fruit could put the brakes on fat loss. In this video, I share the carb content of different fruits and sort through them for you so that you know which ones are the most low carb friendly and which ones to avoid. I have a video that goes in depth into why fruit may be a problem for you on your diet, and that is important for you to watch if you have trouble losing weight. But for this video, we are going to focus on the actual carb content of different fruits. And I'm going to jump right into that after two quick points. Uh, first, I am using 100 grams, which is three and a half ounces as a standard serving size so that we have an even playing field when we're comparing fruits. Also, when it comes to fruit, it is a good idea to consider the fiber content because that is what locks in the natural sugars, which are called fructose, and therefore uh, slows the absorption of that into your body. Okay, with those things in mind, we can start with two categories of fruit that are low carb friendly, and they are berries and melons. Um, if you are trying to keep your carb intake low, but you'd like to include some fruit, berries are best in my opinion, not only for their relatively low carb content, but also for their deep, rich colors, which tells you that they are packed with disease-fighting antioxidants. And of the berries, strawberries are a good choice because they are really universally liked and contain just 7.7 .7 grams of carbs with two grams of fiber. Uh, you could also choose blackberries or raspberries, which are both packed with fiber. Blueberries come in a little bit more in the middle of the range as far as carbohydrate content. And we see that a serving of blueberries has 14.5 grams of carbs. However, keep in mind that we're looking at a three and a half ounce serving, which is about three fourths of a cup of berries. When you follow a low carb or keto diet for a while, most people will find that their desire for sweetness diminishes. So you may find that a smaller serving mixed into something like yogurt or uh, put on top of a salad is all that you need to add to the enjoyment of your daily diet. Melons are also low in total carbs by weight, which is thanks in part to their high water content, uh, which is evident anytime that you bite into a juicy piece of watermelon. Uh, using our standard serving size, we see that watermelon has only 7.6 grams of carbohydrates, cantaloupe has 8.2, and honeydew melon has 9.1 grams. So melons rank as lower carb fruits. However, they are also some of the lowest fiber fruits. So if you're looking for fruit to boost the fiber content of your diet, melons will not get you very far. Compared to some other fruits that will be coming up in this video, citrus fruits are relatively low in carbohydrates. Uh, we see that grapefruit is a good citrus choice with 10.7 grams of carbs and 1.6 gram of fiber, uh, followed by oranges and mandarins. Uh, now you might think of mandarins as clementines or tangerines or cuties. They're basically small oranges and they contain around 13 grams of carbs, two of which are fiber. And those fruits tend to be favorites of kids because they can peel them themselves and they have a natural sweetness. So if you have little ones around and you are looking for some alternatives to junk food, then those cuties or uh, mandarin oranges will do the trick. All right, to round out our list, let's look at some additional fruits and rank them from the most low carb friendly to the least. And for that, Peaches start our list with 9.5 grams of carbs, 1.5 of which are fiber. Uh, apricots are also reasonably low in carbs with just over 11 grams, as are plums, which have 11.4 grams per serving. However, if you dry that plum, it becomes a prune and it is no longer low carb friendly. When the water content of the plum is removed, it concentrates the natural sugars in the fruit, causing the carb content of that same three and a half ounce serving to skyrocket to almost 64 grams. In the middle of the carbohydrate rankings, we see fruits like pineapple, which has 13.1 grams of carbs, and kiwi, which is a little bit higher in carbs at 14.7, but also higher in fiber. Um, apples also fit in this middle range with just 
under 14 grams of carbs per serving. However, I find that one apple can go a long way and very little is needed for that sweet accent that you might be looking for. For instance, an apple this size will last me many days because I use just a few slices a day as a salad topper and then I put wrap over it and stick it back in the refrigerator until the next day. If you follow my channel, you are familiar with my three E's, which means that to stick with your diet long enough to get results, your diet must be easy to follow, enjoyable, and effective. The natural sweetness from that small portion of apple goes a long way toward satisfying the enjoyable element. And if that is going to help you stick to your plan, then it will help you reach your goal. Okay, as we continue to evaluate fruits, we see the total carb content creep up with fruits like mangoes, pears, and cherries. And two fruits that you might be disappointed to learn that they are high in carbohydrates and fructose are grapes and bananas. Now there are some fruits that I did not include on the list. One of them is lemons. Uh, lemons are low carb fruits with 9.3 grams of carbs and 2.8 grams of fiber in a standard 100 gram serving. I didn't include them on the list because 100 grams is 3.5 ounces, which would be a lot of lemon. Most of us use lemon as a flavor enhancer for drinks or food, and for those purposes, lemon is fine to include on your low carb diet. Um, I also excluded coconut and avocados from the list. These are very good low carb fruits as well, uh, but they are standing out from the rest of these because they don't have the natural sweetness. And also I didn't include uh, tomatoes, uh, although technically a fruit, they are typically thought of as vegetables and have carbohydrate um, profile that is more in line with vegetables with 3.9 grams of carbs and 1.2 grams of fiber per serving. So the takeaway is that fruit is an enjoyable food. And if you choose wisely and keep your portions under control, it can add to the enjoyment of your low carb diet. Uh, if you would like a full list of 100 low carb foods, you can download it on my website and you'll find links here on the video and down below in the description area. Please subscribe before you go and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.